And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for the return of four color gates. This time we're playing the deck in best of one. We have been playing it in best of three over the last couple of weeks. And each time that we've played it, the deck has been really impressive. This seems just like a, a good metagame for four color gates. Um, but we're going to just try to in best of one. We're, we're playing the same list that we've been playing in best of three. Um, but we're just going to, like I said, we're playing best of one because today's best of one day, Monday. And uh, I think this is, you know, kind of when I was perusing through some of the decks that I have uh, in, you know, just in the account, looking at some of the decks, I thought this is a deck that could do well in best of one, just like it does in best of three. Because I think this is a pretty good anti-aggro deck and you need to, you need to be good against aggro uh, whenever you're thinking about your best of one deck. And this deck has six three mana sweepers and so three mana sweepers are pretty valuable against all the creatures whether we have gates of blaze and clarion we got six of them in the main deck we could make it even a seventh if you want to put you know if you want to exchange out the expansion for another clarion if it turns out that you really want more um but then we also have a you know, good card advantage of course with guild summit uh, we get to ramp with our circuitous route our uh growth spiral speaking of card advantage and life gain you got hydroid crisis more life gain. You got the Archway Angels. Um, you can give your Gatebreaker Ram or Gate Colossus. You can give these things Life Link, and and they also end games pretty fast. So I think it has a lot of good tools um, for the best of one meta game. Like I said, you could could trim on Guild Summits and expansion for for more anti aggro stuff too with more Clarions. But we'll play it as is for now. Um, I do like expansion against these counter spell decks that are running around. There's a good amount of those, even though we haven't paired against one in a while. <laughs> uh, but the, you, do, you do still see those. And so expansion can kind of be like your counter spell for their negate kind of thing. Um, but uh, and then, of course, it, you can have the big explosion whenever you have a bunch of lands. We talked about maybe playing a Kenrith in this deck. Also, but Kenrith is going to be pretty weak to your Gates of Blaze. Like it's going to die to your Gates of Blaze probably. But this could be another option against aggro decks to be able to gain life, give your rams haste, um, do that kind of stuff, draw some cards. But we'll just stick with the expansion, how it is. All right, here we go. So we're going to play some best of one, standard, ranked, four color gates. I really like this deck in, in the best of three metagame. I think it's really strong in best of three right now. So let's... You know, we're checking it out in a best of one, see if it's strong here too. So the good news is we have turn three gates ablaze. Because this is Gateway Plaza that's a five color land. So that's the good news is we have we have turn three gates ablaze. Um, besides that, we're probably, you know, going to be dropping these hydroid crises. On four mana. I really should be discarding a Krasis, but I really don't want to discard a Krasis. All right, we'll do what we should. Not what we want. Okay, you couldn't handle Korvold and Jun food. I think, yeah, Korvold, Korvold could definitely be a problem. That could definitely be a problematic card. I think... It, Usually against the food decks, I've, I've had a lot of success against them, but I can definitely see Corvold in, in particular. That that does sound like the, the scariest card for sure. Mono black discard. A mind is a terrific thing to waste. 
It's just unfortunate for us that we had three Hydroid Crisis in our opening hand in this matchup, because Hydroid Crisis would be a good card to top deck. Against a discard deck, you want to be able to you want to be able to have good top decks. And that's exactly I'm just gonna get two gruels actually. That's exactly what Hydro Crisis is. It's a good top deck. Unfortunately, we had them all in the opener. I don't think you'll be needing that. Keeping the Gruel Guild Gate in hand to be able to discard. Uh, I'm, I won't be Ezra Leth. I'm not planning on taking any days off for Christmas. Awesome, Proto Grind. Cool. You're 11 and 2 with the anti meta game in Best of One. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Glad it's working out really well for you. Gain us life. So we're back up to 21. Um, haven't found a Gates of Blaze or Clarion yet. No one has seen my face and lived. And let me pick your brain. But I feel like we will. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. This guild summon is just too much card draw. Perish the thought. Wrinkle is awesome. Sacrifice. Yeah, we have six sweepers. We haven't drawn one yet, but... <clears throat> we probably will. Eventually.
There we go. They get to draw four cards, of course. But that's okay. Yeah, Midnight Reaper's awesome. Really doesn't matter which ones I choose. Three, six, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yes, I have thirteen if I were you, I'd just <clears throat> damage with an explosion. Putrid, but Effective. But yeah, my opponent's playing my my mono black discard deck that I really really like. So that's that's cool. I'm glad they are. Let's tidy up in there. Oh, I can't do that. Do I have thirteen? Well, GG's opponent. Good luck with Mono Black Discard. I do feel like Mono Black Discard's a better best of three deck than best of one deck. So I think it, it does better against slower decks. Yeah, Expansion Explosion is... Is pretty wild. Okay, yeah, yeah, Lala. Yeah, Lala. Um check out uh look at the look at the info panel on the stream about donations. There's one there's one for exactly what you're talking about. Um Yeah, so yeah, Lala. Feel free to, um, yeah, if you you want to just uh, pick my brain about about stuff just and talk about your modern deck, uh, I can definitely help. <laughs> I know, we. where was this when we were playing the anti-metagame deck? Uh... Where was this? No, I think no, Azorius control is the best matchup for mono black control. Or sorry, mono black discard. Whenever I'm playing mono black discard, I, I love facing Azorius control. I think that's like, my favorite matchup. Alright, we need to draw. Basically, all we need to do is draw lands. We have a, we have awesome cards. We need to just draw lands. Right, yeah. Yes, Rhythm of the Wild does give you a Haste Colossus, but it's just... Like, what does Rhythm of the Wild do when you don't have Colossus? It does nothing. You don't want to put cards that do nothing in your deck. Rhythm Wild does nothing unless you have Colossus. So, awesome hand here. Turn three, they're already activating Trail of Crumbs with having Witches Oven called and Familiar. So, quite an ideal hand. And they got a ramp piece. This is the kind of game that maybe they'll win, but I think that, I think that we're, pr 
pretty favored here, but I think this could be a type of game that they could win. Well, if I don't hit lands, I'm not going to win. That's a killer not having a land there. We have 27 in the deck. I guess I could have played Growth Spiral. I guess I could have played Growth Spiral. I feel like Ram's better, though. Growth Spiral would help me hit the land drops, though. Or I'm talking about I'm sorry, I'm I said Grow Spiral all those times. I meant Guild Summit. I could have played Guild Summit here and drawn a card. But I like playing this 8-8. Eight, eight. Well, it's a 6-6 six, six now, but the next turn will be an 8-8. Eight, eight. <clears throat> Ooh, Murderous Rider. That one's good. Alright, I probably should just play the Guild Summit. Yeah, we've played a yeah, we've played some Rien Angel of Rebirth decks. Um None none that have done like super well. Uh, we haven't figured out what our opponent's doing with the blue mana yet. Okay, Azrael. Glad you're loving the Gruul Henge, but yeah, that's that's how magic goes. Sometimes sometimes you go through winning streaks. And then the next day, the same deck, you can go through a losing streak. And the next day you can go back to a winning streak. It happens. Um,
I would have mind casting circuitous route and then expansion copying it to really ramp. We'll eventually find our archway angels and gain life again with that. We'll get we'll get another turn here in about four minutes. Gotta wait about four minutes. Do y'all think they'll ever just make it where the Cauldron Familiar just auto sacks of food and you don't have to like choose this every single time? And do you think they'll ever have an, an ease of life change to this? Ah, found what the blues for. Wait, Fay of Wishes. Fae of Wishes is awesome in best of three. Or sorry, best of one. And Planeswalkers is definitely what my deck struggles against. So Tezzeret ticks up to seven, which Gate Colossus does attack for eight. So they, they would need um, they would need removal for Gate Colossus first. I wish I was joking when I said it was going to be four minutes before our next turn, but... Simic Flash is one of our... was is one of our not... At, that's one of our worst matchups, but it's it's not unwinnable at all. Hydro Crisis is a huge part of it for us. You know, like, if we if we just get to ramp, play big Crisis, like, the draws card still, start double... start, you know, double spelling with that. <clears throat> okay. I can play Mountain and then just Expansion and just do four damage to the Fey of Wishes and just kill it. I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to save Expansion. Do I want another Guild Summit in play? Nah. We got enough card draw. Yeah. Yeah, so I thought could, that could be a challenge. I... I don't... I think White Weenie has the tools to be competitive in the metagame, but that could be a good challenge. Yeah, they, they can't block. This can't be blocked by small creatures. Sorry, take what I need. <clears throat> 
I guess I'm just dead. Because I didn't gain life. Because this thing's going to do 7 damage to me. And then the cats finish me off. Oh my gosh, the opponent is unbearably slow. Bay of Wishes, very strong in best of one. Very strong. Yeah, they, they got the Tezzeret from the sideboard with the Bay of Wishes. Cool sleeves for the opponent. Yeah, I've I've played a lot of Fae of Wishes decks in best of one before. Yeah, I've I've played those before. Um All right, so getting the Guild Summit down before Circuitous Route. Ideally, if we have an untapped land, we could route and then expansion copy route. All right, so our opponent's playing a Fires of Invention deck. just going to be route for us. Double Merriment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Grow spiral here. Also, Play a game of hide and seek. Let's see how sharp my axe. <laughs> right now, I can explosion for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. got twelve mana. But it makes sense to double Archway Angel. Probably not yet.
I think we can wait on the angels and just be able to gain more life. I don't think we need to do that yet. We got three angels in the deck total. Down to 27 cards. Well, that's annoying. Join the stampede, my companions. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is gonna do eleven. Wait, did I just have lethal? Or just explosion? Yeah, I did, didn't I? Right, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I did not, okay. Good. They didn't get, um, they didn't get life linkers. Good. Our opponents deck, they're they're definitely playing fire. Like they're a fires of invention deck for sure. Like that's that's kind of their goal is fires of invention, make their deck a lot more consistent. Like they're they're absolutely playing fires and then and then playing probably playing like casualties of war and stuff like that. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ugh. Twelve damage. I'm one off from killing them. Okay, good. No life linkers again. Good. No life linkers. <laughs> yeah, where's the Sarah's endings? Right? Yeah, Scaric Emblem is definitely scary. It's not as good as Vivian Emblem. <clears throat> Time's up. They're still not attacking.
Those explosions come up clutch for us a couple of times here. Both of our wins have been just huge explosions so far. All I'm thinking is how not close this game would be if they had fires out. Yeah. Yeah, that would have definitely been a lot different game if they had fires. We would need our 27 land deck to draw two out of three lands here for this to be good, to be able to like get to secure this route and then start routing. This thing, if we don't draw lands, we just kind of lose, but if we do, this is very good. If, I, if we didn't have Gates of Blaze, if we had like just something else, I wouldn't keep it, but Gates of Blaze is, is pretty strong here in best of one. Gate. Perfect. Azrael, all right, try to make a white weenie in this metagame or in historic. Okay. Play it on this Saturday, beginning a stream. All right, will do. Thanks, Azrael. I'll I'll play. I'll uh, put that together. I I definitely think that that. Uh, I think Historic has more good quality options for White Weenie than Standard. You know, Historic, you get Banalish Marshall, History Banalia. Of course, you can go the life gain routes with the new cards they added in with the Historic Anthologies, but that's an option, too. I guess this is going to trigger a spawn of mayhem growing now. Hope they don't have Bone Crusher Giant. Something similar. Well. That didn't work. If I didn't do that in cast circuitous route, though, we would have died with them having the Bone Crusher Giant because you don't think they would have had the extra attacker there, and so I would have been dead to the Bone Crusher Giant. So I couldn't like play around Bone Crusher Giant by not doing that because the direct damage was going to kill us with the two spawn of Mayhem's if I just played circuitous route. The two in the air would have killed me. Okay. Awesome. Uh, no, Soda, I did not see any Pioneer bands. They banned Oko. Makes sense. That card was a complete mistake. 
do to say Throne of Eldraine has been probably has been has been one of my least favorite sets in a while. Really didn't like Oko at all. These these adventure stuff I'm not a huge fan of either. Never really liked Once Upon a Time. Hope the next set's better than Throne of Eldraine was. The flavor of the set was really good. The flavor of the set was really good. The power level was out of whack. But yeah, the flavor was really good. My opponent did not have a questing beast to, f to f follow all those cards up. Oh, never mind. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. I'd rather play a gate here than the Plaza Harmony. But I feel like I probably just need to play the Plaza Harmony and gain the three life. But it's better for me to play a gate. Hey, Bleeding Black. That bought me a turn. I have to draw Gates of Blaze, though. That's my only out right now. This thing does seven because of the activated ability. I mean, I can play this on one and try to block, but if they just, if they know how to activate Skargon Hellkite, I lose. All right, they know how to activate Skargon Hellkite. All right, so I haven't been doing as well with this deck in best of one as we usually do in best of three. Good test, though. You know, like, that's... You know, we can't really know it until we test it. But yeah, I like this. I think I'm liking this deck more in best of three. I mean, I, I really like it in best of three. But these aggro decks have been getting underneath us. 
these last two. It's a lot easier to beat aggro in best of three when we get the sideboard than just the, the one game. These three draw steps were really, really poor. We needed to draw like just a gate, be able to circuitous. You know, I don't want to play both of my tap. Like I, did, you know, turn playing mountain on turn two is not good at all. Well, that was a good top deck. Hopefully no more 1-1s one -one over there. No, just a perfect hand. Just another 1-1 one -one and a questing beast. Man, best of one is such a beating. Don't get to sideboard. This is rough. Yeah, it's 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 been all aggro all day today. Yeah, why the anti metagame deck do so bad? Because it was metagamed against cat decks and counter spell decks, and all we did was face aggro because we we're playing best of one. Um, another person in the chat though said that they're playing the exact same list in best of one, and they're eleven and two. The thing about best that's the thing about best of one there's just a lot of variants here <laughs> yeah it's basically a lottery yeah basically there's so much variance oh come on take uh there goes guild summit Sometimes your opponents, you know, stumble a little bit, and you don't. You curve out. These have been, like, four games in a row of my opponents having, like, their best best things. Yeah, like, Questing Beast on curve, and Triple Spawn of Mayhem, and, you know, Turn 2 Thought Erasure with the Esper deck. Sometimes it goes like that. This one will will probably be fine though here. I expect us to be fine. Oh, I thought that was another yeah, okay. Could have grabbed another red source, but that's okay. Going red mana. Let's get gruel. Uh, Sultai deck.
do I have a Sultai deck? I mean, we have played a, a lot of Sultai, just different Sultai decks. Um, yeah. That's the thing. I've played just so many decks that it's kind of hard to remember, but... Um, I mean, the best best uh, advice I have is just going to the U the YouTube channel there, and clicking over to the video tab and just kind of scrolling and seeing seeing like what Sultai decks you like over there. Um, hey, Millennium God, thank you so much for nine awesome months keeping that Twitch Prime sub going. I appreciate that. No, Nexus is Nexus is still legal in standard or in historic, but it's not legal in best of one. It's only legal in best of three. Oh wait, cancel. That's our seven seven games. Three and four. Okay, so we only ended up going three and four in a best of one with four color gates here. But I don't feel any worse about our deck. As we're talking about, there's a lot of variance with best of one, uh, a lot of aggro. And if your opponents curve out very well and you stumble, you just lose and the game's over. We did have the six sweepers. It did feel like we needed more than just the six at times. Um, for, for best of one. But I would be very like Yeah. So basically it's just that's just what happens with with uh best of one. I'd be very confident with running it back and you know going four and three, five and two, six and one. Or you know, it could go one and six, two and five, three and four. It, it's just the the final record doesn't always tell the case of the decks. This is one that I think is one of the best best of three decks right now, especially one of the best hidden best of three decks that people are just are not um, really playing or, or talking about very much. Um, every time we've played this in best of three over the last couple of weeks, we've done really well, and I I would be very confident playing this in best of three. And then again, of course, against aggro decks, you know, we'd have like Clarions and extra Archway Angel to be able to bring in and Knight of Autumns if those are applicable. But I, I like, I really like this deck. So, uh, four color gates. It, it's kind of easy on the wild cards, you know, like commons. These are all uncommons. I guess that's a rare, um, uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. So it's pretty easy on the wild cards. Even the mana base is just a bunch of commons with with those, except for you know the plaza harmonies are rares. Um, so yeah, this this is a deck that I think is very good in best of three. Um, that's it here for four color gates, though. Y'all on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that like button over there. Leave the comments. Do all that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching some Four Color Gates, and I'll see you for the next video.